welcome back to a Pearl and Edgar Canal Slip Seer. This is CLA Language Arts 600, Book 5. Your view from the back of my classroom. Okay, sixth grade lesson for a few of you. Um, what complements follow linking verbs? Regression, present, complement. Good. Um, and should you use an apostrophe to form the plurals of capital letters? Is. No. Good. No. You should not say, I have three T's in a sentence. You should not use an apostrophe. You just like the apostrophe S. Yes. Yes. Just T S. Okay. Um, new lesson. Lay, lie, raise, rise, set, and set. Um, lie, lay. And I wrote them in this order. Rise, raise. Because the first one is always something that you do. And the second is word is always something that you do to something else. A lie. Today, I lied on the couch. I'm just doing it. I Yesterday, he lay on the couch. He just did it. And many days, he has lain. But today, I lay the keys on the desk. Yesterday, I laid them on the desk. And many days, I have laid them. Those always have to have something that's receiving the action of being laid. A direct object. Today, I rise to meet you. Yesterday, the sun rose to meet us. Every day, the sun has risen. It's doing it by itself. Well, God is doing it for it, but it's doing it by itself. I raise my hand, or I raise corn. Many times, we raised pigs to eat, and many times, I have raised pigs. These always have something that's receiving that action, some kind of direct object. Today, I sit in my desk. Yesterday, I sat in my desk. In many days, I have sat in my desk. Um, but today, I set the coffee on the table. Yesterday, I set the coffee on the table. In many days, I have set the coffee on the table. Again, the coffee, there's always something receiving the action as a direct object for that one. So, lay, raise, and set always have direct objects. Where this list gets the trickiest is here where you have lay and lay. Past tense of lie is lay. So yesterday, I lay. And present tense of lay is lay. He lay the papers on my desk. So you need to kind of figure out which tense it is to make sure you're using the right one. But other than that, remember the direct objects? It's not that hard, I don't think. The pack rat lay or laid the rusty nail down. or rose to give grandma his seat. Rose, he's doing it himself. George usually sets or sits in the chair. Sit. Sits. And I usually spell usually wrong. And I did again. Just one S, two L's, one S. Usually sits in the chair beside the stove. It's where he does it himself. All right, carry on with your work. Keep them straight. Remember, some of the correct objects. You do something else. Otherwise, you do something.